Is it on video? Hi, I'm Denise, Dr. Denise Favoda. I am the World Trade Center doctor working with patient Keith Nelson, who was a volunteer at the World Trade Center pile as a chiropractor, helping first responders recover from days and hours and hours of trying to retrieve victims from the World Trade Center. As a result of his kind act, he ended up with a head and neck cancer, which resulted in him losing his upper left palate, all of his teeth, the left side of his face, the skin, the sinuses, all the bony structures, his inforbital rim, support for his left eye, and as a functional result, he cannot speak, he cannot swallow, he cannot eat without a prosthesis replacing his palate, and a prosthesis replacing his face to protect all of the very fragile structures that are remaining inside of him. Keith, tell them a little bit about what you did and, and how you're here. I am Dr. Keith Nelson. I gave my time on my days off uh, as a volunteer treating workers at the site. Uh, anyone complaining of any neck or back problems related to their lifting and working there so that they could do their job. Um, and you, what, what, tell us about your life with your defect now. My life with my defect is uh, atrocious. It is so far from normal, it's ridiculous. I was supposed to be dead within two years of treatment. I'm a luckily survivor, and I have a very unusual uh, defect, which does, allows me to uh, be unable to talk, unable to uh, swallow foods properly, unable to see properly uh, without a proper uh, prosthetic. Uh, and what is it like going out the street without a facial prosthetic? I mean, how could you food shop or, or be with friends? You can't function in a normal manner at all. I've been on full disability ever since this because of its inability for me to sleep, sleep properly or sleep well uh, and communicate properly with patients again, uh, eat properly for proper nutrition. Everything has been uh, greatly affected and, and I also have gotten water into my lungs and I've had uh, uh, a lung trouble from that as well and we're trying to resolve this so that I can be much more functionally normal again. And emotionally supportive so that you can go out and function with your family and friends? Yes, I feel very inferior uh, to everybody at this point uh, and uh, my esteem is greatly uh, downhill all the way. Okay, Keith, would you please remove your prosthetics so we can show the World Trade Center doctors and people that will be deciding whether or not they will help us recreate your face and your structures, what okay. your life is like without this. All right, my cancer doctor also suggested I get one made because I am not a candidate for surgery procedures. Okay, now Keith is going to remove his face and he's going to remove his oral prosthetic which doesn't completely seal his defect, which is what we will do for him. If you notice, he has cotton underneath his lower eyelid to try and lift the eyelid. We're gonna try and attempt to do that with our prosthesis. And now this is Keith. If you come in, Joanne, closer. Keith, put your tongue up through the defect. There you go. You see, it's a through and through defect. He has no jaw, no teeth, no palate, no facial structures, his lower lid is missing, so his eye droops and stays open all the time, creating a, a, a chance for his cornea to be scratched and lose his eyesight. And Speak to us, Keith. I can't speak very well. Hey, I say without closure. I cannot swallow food or hungry because I do not have I told her that because I was to go to the hurry and pass my own. So as we, can, as we can hear, Keith can't speak correctly. He certainly can't swallow and I can't demonstrate that because if I do, it'll go down his lungs and he risks pneumonia. His eye has already had corneal scratches and he sleeps every night with a moist uh, right. membrane over it so that he doesn't scratch it during the night. This is a man 
who went down on his two days off every week for probably a year to try and give whatever he could to the first responders of 9-11. He did this out of love for his city of New York and out of the country he loves and believes in the United States of America. We as the team at World Trade Center need to reconstruct this gentleman and give him back his dignity and his ability to function in life every day from not only a mechanical eating and speaking point of view, but from an emotional point of view that he can spend time with his family, go out in public, try and regain his, his ability to practice as a chiropractor. This is the least we can do to thank him. And this is what Mr. Zadroga said he wanted when he begged for the Zadroga Act to be passed. Please honor his ability to help our first responders by honoring him and covering his prosthetics and helping bring him back to, a, to his functioning life. What we do in my office is we, we change lives every day. Together, you and I can change this man's life so that he can once again go forward and enjoy his family and enjoy his life. Thank you. Thank you.